so I just read Legion of Superheroes issue 2 from DC Futures Day and oh, I, this is going to be a really short review because this book is just so boring and so ugly that it's just not worth it. I don't even know how this is a standalone issue. I don't know why this isn't a, a shitty backup in the back of some shitty story. Um, I, this is just, I mean, look, look at all this, look at all the writing on the first page. You're expected to, you've got to read all this on the first page about this character you don't know or care about. And then you get a really ugly splash page with really dreadful art. And then you get just, oh, it's just so stupid and ugly and boring. And I, I don't even want to talk about it. Last issue was just about them getting together. And now they're together. They just hate each other and they don't want to work together. So they're just at each other's throats and they're trying to figure out um, who's trying to destroy the universe or who did destroy the universe. And it's like... I. It's just so convoluted and disgusting and it just ends, it just ends. And you're like, but what, what, what even was this? The, the art is just so f fucking atrocious and every page is just, oh, I just, do you know what I'm sorry? I just, this is the one out of all the future state books I, that I just, I, I hated reading. It was just insulting to my eyes it was it's just absolutely atrocious and this is just a skip i mean ju if you skip the first one then you're obviously going to skip this one and i i just don't want anything to do with this absolutely god awful no anyway um i didn't even tell you who wrote it who wrote uh, who wrote this who wrote this tripe brian michael bandit oh my god brian michael bendis wrote it wow yeah and the arts by riley rosmo I mean, this has got to be a Cartoon Network artist because this is not a comic book art. This is not art. This isn't art. I, I don't know what it is. It's not art. Um, but yeah, anyway, until next time, take care and stay safe. Bye.